breathworks courses has got such a stress on kindness and compassion. The mindfulness is interlinked with that right from the beginning. You do need to have that context of kindness and compassion to be able to um, be able to, I suppose, turn towards what's difficult. I think the part that spoke to me was the when we were lying down and the teacher said you've you've got to learn to be kind to yourself we're just asking people to sit to stop to pause and just look at what's actually going on what's actually happening right now and to meet that with love i thought it was going to be a bit like an indian sort of very you know you go to tibet or somewhere and there's going to be a long drawn out thing but no it's very simple it's so simple it's profound isn't it nothing in the way of major effort was involved but just very gentle very considered and very mindful movements and just the sense of being in a body that that gave me one of the things I love in Breathworks is the emphasis on um, pleasure, the treasure of pleasure. So looking and um, noticing the beautiful, pleasant things that are there for, available for all of us. Um, just really simple things that we might not notice. Even when I'm really busy and I'm feeling really stressed, I might still stop and notice, oh, wow, it's a beautiful day and it's sunny and I feel the sun on my skin. You know, in the midst of it all, there are moments where I'm really, really present and that's beautiful. When I have a flare up in my pain, I, I'm much more able to take it moment by moment, not panic, not get too stressed out about it, just kind of deal with it in the time. And actually, as a result of that, I found that my flare-ups and my pain are much less bad because I, I, I don't add on the extra worry and fear that makes it all worse. Something happened in, in my life. Uh, my husband was sort of going through some tests at the hospital and he was diagnosed with terminal stage 4 cancer. So I carried on with the course and changes, hospitals, treatments. But the amount I was getting from the course was <laughs> equally increasing. So um, from then on, I was really soaking up everything. I just couldn't wait for the course. It wasn't my way out of a crisis. It was my way into the crisis. Coming together as a group and sharing your experience, I think, is where a lot of the learning happens. Because some weeks you feel really frustrated or that you haven't done it right or you can't, can't do it properly. Or, and then when you come together and realise that everybody is struggling with those same difficulties, that it's okay, that this is to be expected. Just stopping and observing the sensation, there's an extraordinary freedom in that initially, I think. I have tried ways of trying to shut out my suffering and they haven't worked. And so I, had to, I got to a place where it was really important for me to try something else. And it's quite a simple concept. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to do, but I think, you know, everyone can do it, yeah. And everyone can get so much more richness and enjoyment out of their lives.